What is up, guys? My name is Spooky. Thank you, Monkey B. Low, for the sub, my friend. Welcome to Nexel Battle Strike and Online Edition. Uh, it's week number 64 of the series. Uh, Bisu has arrived in the lobby. He's chilling with us. We just need the homie takeout. We can get the first match started whenever the guys are ready. And, uh, yeah, you know, thanks everybody for what you guys do for us. We appreciate it. We have $50 sitting in the crowdfund for the homies. You can check out the crowdfund page if you like in the chat right now. Uh, the code is SAVENOBC239 tonight for the free donations. But you can also, as always, use the goodies in the sidebar. Uh, donate from your wallet. Buy some goodies in the store. Or you can also give us subs, as you guys have done so far tonight. There's been quite a few subs. And I'll make sure to add some money courtesy of you. Also, thanks to everyone that's been submitting their clips via MetaView. There was a winner for that. I'll check on that in just a little bit and see who won it. Uh, and get you guys hooked up. In the meantime, cool. Here's the lobby. We'll just get this all ready to go. Worst case, if we change the match, we change the match. No big deal. Winners, round one. And it should be Tega versus Bisu. Coming up shortly. Oh, wow, you guys started a hype train. That's amazing. Thanks, Moon Racer, as well as Gramps. I appreciate you guys. You know what? I'm going to actually support the crowdfund courtesy of you right now. You guys gave me lots of subs this week as well. We made it back over 2,000 subscribers, courtesy of your support uh, last uh, Thursday night as well as today so far. 2,000. That's actually a lot of subs. That ain't no joke. Thank you, everybody, for doing it. it helps me continue to do what I do. Tonight's goal is 2,050 now. We're going to try to make it even further along. And we're also going to try to watch some dope some dope matches, okay? I want to see these Skyfarers do their best. We got multiple champions in the bracket tonight. What's that, bro? Okay, perfect. Take is on the way, guys. That means we're going to get it started. We're going to keep the bet real basic for this one because this is a good match, honestly. These are two champions of the tournament that are facing our first round. That's just how it is in these, these guys, all right? If you thought these guys weren't dangerous, well, now you know, okay? These guys are dangerous. They're fighting for the stacks, okay? Airships don't come cheap, all right? There's repairs. You know, you've got to hire some staff, you know, and all that good stuff, so... Take care of him, guys. Support him. Support the crowd. Fontega has arrived, guys. Here he is. And it looks like Beast was also ready. So we're going to jump into it any second, guys. Take a ran straight to the player one side. I'm just playing. High maintenance. There you go, boy. The blue. You know what it is. An airship is definitely high maintenance. Just act sets her. He had the other airship and he had to bury it, remember? <laughs> it was I think it was probably too expensive for him to operate. He just buried it until he needed it again. And then he was Personal like, alright, well let's pull it out. Belia. What's up, Cassandra Nova? Welcome to the stream tonight. Welcome everybody. I hope that you guys are gonna have a good time. Thanks for rewatching that combo breaker look alive match with us. We might check out some more of them later. Now we're gonna get into the tournament proper. Let's see who's gonna take it tonight. Starting with champion versus champion off the bat. Their Elite nobility infantry. shines bright. Battle one. First time you come across them, you might also be in awe. Just like I am. Player one side, Tega. Player two, Bisu. This is a fun matchup, to be honest, I think. There is a lot of decision making, especially on the defensive end in this type of matchup. There's a lot more blocking than you would think. <laughs> I say that as he command grabs him and it kills him. But no, there there is a lot of blocking in this style of match, which is part of what makes it fun to me. Yeah, Kachua. Welcome to these guys, I guess. That's what happens when we have what we have around like 25 players, give or take. You're all champions. That's not even a joke. That's not a robot chicken reference, that's straight up. You're all champions, okay? There's too many of y'all. We need a skull bag. Let's do it, guys. Tega, that's your first choice, okay? Player two choice, Beast. We got one minute, guys. Better with me. I want to see what you guys think is going to happen. Command grab again. Use your extra knowledge well. He hit him with a super sky bomb. Take to the sky. Actually, the music is playing, but it might not be over. I'm not sure. Is this enough? No, it is not. 
Thank you, Cozy Panda. Wow. Mad bitch. Thank you. Oh, 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 tension. That's that other game, but it doesn't matter. This is my animation. What do you think? That was a sick round. They were, they were inspired by the match they just saw. That's what that is. This is making me think of those towers of Guilty Gear a little bit. They're from the Heaven Tower. <laughs> Only the most noble are fucking with us. <laughs> Alright. Uh, maybe that might be on me. I'll check the settings in a second. For now, I want to watch this match and see what's up. <laughs> oh, word? He's gonna come back? That's crazy. Super skybound dart. Damn, that was mad damage. I don't know. It, it looks like it has the right settings for me. You let me know if you guys see some tearing on your end, and I'll, I'll reset the Mage World card, worst case, in between games. For now, Bisu took game number one. That was clean, honestly, from both players. Bisu came back uh, from a bit behind a little bit in the second round, but, you know, it was close. What up, Flower Man? Welcome to the stream tonight. What up, Bright Eye James? What up, everybody? Hope that you guys are looking forward to another beautiful evening. Crumble Fancy Versus. Rumors of offline abound big. And actually, TSB is actually confirmed for offline as well in July. So look forward to it. Crumble Fancy Versus will be there as well as Strive, uh, Rev2, and Blas. Blas will be big as the games. Nice one. That does hurt. It doesn't kill. That That is a pretty weak Skybound Dart. Not for nothing. Overall. It's really used. Oh, oh. I, it, I think the timing of how it hit threw, threw him off a little bit. I wouldn't be surprised. That was kind of crazy what just happened. That would have been so sick if he had done a two-piece straight into the sky and made it do the most damage possible. Oh, my. Could you imagine? That would have. Oh, hoo, 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 he's doing the Twitter tech. Stop. I don't even know what's going on right now. This is crazy. This is what happens when you make two guys with a crown fight at the start. Oh, I control entire kingdoms, my guy. Oh, but he messed up the end. We still have a round. He has four marks. But oh, my God. You gave the Lord of Flame four marks and a chance to come back. Oh, two piece, two piece. No, he, he went for the reset. Oh, I see why. Because he wants the big damage. Is this death? Is this that? Please, please let me see an animation into Dove. I need to see it. Oh my god. Please let it kill him. That would be the best. Yes. I am the Lord of Flames. How dare you let me live with marks. Believe in victory. Damn, this is the first match, guys. Think about that. <laughs> That was sick. Percival. Oh my god. Wow. He got an auto combo from that even? Setups. Setups. Dash momentum. No way. This can't happen again, can it? Oh, <laughs> could you imagine? Ooh, so close. Battle two. Engage. Oh yeah, this the stinger with marks. Very dangerous. Fire attack up. That's all I keep. Whenever I see that little mark there, that's all I keep thinking. Please don't hit me with those. <laughs> These guys are nuts. Are you serious? Corner time. Nice escape. That was a very good escape. 
Now you deal with the corner, okay? And I have I have, I have some marks too to work with. Woo! That was without a counter to the air throw attempt? Is that what that was? That was smart. Throw. Okay, looking good. Mix. Woo! Oh, we have new stuff. What was that? I'm learning. Oh! <laughs> Stop! They're fighting like it's the grand finals. It's the first match of the tournament. That was a sick. Everything. Everything was sick. Final round. <laughs> because Tibola, too many of you guys are too good. So this is what starts happening, all right? This is what happens. This is what everybody in the tournament is a champion in the tournament. First round, champions have to fight. Oh my god. Nice job. One, two. Is it enough? I, I, I think it's enough. Jeez, all right. <laughs> I'm crying a little bit. That was too ham. What have we done? The skies are torn. It's only the first match. <laughs> what have we done? <laughs> I'm sorry, Taker, that you had to experience that. Jeez, all right. Well, on to the next match that also features, I believe, a champion of the tournament. Or at least a guaranteed top three, right, Naji? <laughs> Gee, all right, I got to pay out the skulls. It was a, a pretty fair bet. It was about a 50-50 bet, give or take. Slight odds. All right, guys, on to the next. I hope you guys are enjoying it so far. Let's take a look at the bracket together real fast if we have a second while it starts up. Looks like Najee versus Neo Cards. Oh my god. It's basically top three monster versus top three. Mo <laughs> this bracket is nuts. Good luck, guys. That's all I can tell you. Good luck, Gina everybody. All right. Catalina. <laughs> all right. Najee on to player one, I believe. Zero to zero. New York cars on the player two. Yeah, Kilo's in there somewhere. There's a lot of killers. What can I tell you? This should still be round one. Yes, it is. Believe in victory. And the sides look correct. All right, here we go. So it's a footsie's war, guys. This is one of the, the classic matchups of the game. I know Gia's new a little bit than Cat, but this is straight up footsie's and damage. That's the whole matchup. Just one mistake is all it takes. One capitalization. Use your skulls, guys. Bet it. Bounce. Okay. Let's start for Karsh. Mm. Timing. That was like a timing thing. He didn't string straight into the crouch jump. He delayed it just a little bit. All right, round two. That was tricky. It almost worked, but instead, Karsh got a small combo. Karsh's timing is really good right now. Naji's trying to rise to the chat. Oh, almost. That was actually too far. Sneaky. Stuck in the throw. Safe jump. Boom, timing. He also has good timing. He's not hitting his confirms right now. They cancel. Yes. He, he went it close to me. He got far. Ooh, stuff's happening. It's one of those matches. Bounce. He might be able to close it out with this. Karsh. One, two. It's not enough. He still can fight. He can come back from this. If he can block it out. Defense. Ooh, toes. Toes. Okay, so one oh quick fast run your cards. That's where you want to be in a footsies matchup because these can these can go fast like this or they can be really drawn out. Uh the Really drawn out and tough. So it, it feels good to win one quick sometimes. Three, four. This is a bounce. Naji. He's looking for the sweep after. He got it. Oh, no. He didn't get it, but he did get a good knockdown regardless. 
when you get the sweep, you add a little bit of damage and you get the best meaning if you want those. Oh, nice. Okay. That was smart. Oh, for far heavy. That would have been a combo of counter hit or non counter. Oh, nice dodge. A lot of high level decisions going on from both right now. And the throw too. Of course, he's down a special. Might as well slow him down with the grab too. Good EX. He's in. That was tricky. He made it look like a. Oh, man. I forgot that Naji has those. But he has those. Is it enough? Let's see. Last part. It hurts. Oh, it's enough. It's enough. I forget how much that does off the counter heavy. It's like 3,700, 3,800. It's a lot of damage if he does the hard mode super like that. It hurts. But you have to do the hard mode version of the super to get that to the optimum like that. But he's Najee's Ajita that can do this. He's about that like. Nice, sure you punish. Tricky. He went for a juggle punish. That was cool. You don't see that type of punish too often. Cancel. Go! What is happening? I don't even know what's going on. It's actually working really well for Najee. Ooh, Najee! He created the scrambles. And then he capitalized splendidly. That was sick. Bomb it. <laughs> and then they're flying in disguise. <laughs> The end of the super makes it even worse because they're just like, look at us, we we did it, guys. We're so cute, we summoned a dragon god. And now on to game three. That's a punch, small punch. He could have got a little more, but we take those. Neocar, she got a pretty nice one off the jump. Confirm. Wow, close round. Soft knockdown. Touching those toes. Yes. Right as I said it. Go one. He tried to get a little more damage at the end. Nice answer. Okay, back to the mid screen. This is what I mean about those long drawn out rounds that get really scary. These rounds always come down to who made that one wrong decision at the very end, right? Oh my god. So close. So close. Crazy round. Neo Cars takes that one. Fireball. No. Nice jump. Neo Cars, he's, start he's starting to turn up the footies. He's got a real nice spacing going. See, like that. He's got a real good spacing going on. Looks tough to beat. The uppercut didn't hit fully. Sure, you denied. Just this could be it. It's looking like it. Alright, the monster from Florida, Dio Karsh. It looks like he's gonna take the set 2 to 1. Ah, oh, y'all are too good at this game. I don't know what to say anymore. <laughs> y'all are actually too good. That was another good set. 2 1 for the homie Dio Karsh. Dio Karsh won 2 to 1 over Naji. Alright. So, guys, let me pay out some. some Skull dollars for the homies. I say skull dollars, but I do appreciate all the subs you've given so far. Thanks to all of you. We have received 15 subscribers of Team Spooky. I need to add that. We're going to jump into the next match shortly, too. My name is Spooky, and thank you guys for supporting us here at Team Spooky. Thank you to all the players that entered tonight, by the way, guys. I appreciate you. It looks like it's a tough one in that round one in there. Y'all are having some tough matches going on, but we do appreciate your long-term support. I hope that everybody in the New York area is excited about the TSB Monthly that's coming up soon uh, in July as well. And, you know, of course, we're going to keep lining up tournaments, hopefully some offline ones soon, but as well as some online tournaments to keep things going for you guys. Bam, we did it. What's the price by now? 121. That's great, guys. You can support it, too. Here's the crowdfund information one more time in the chat if you guys want to help out and support. And uh, we're going to jump into this next match. Grand versus, versus, oh, snap, it's a mirror. Okay, this is extra crazy. Who is this? So this is Kilo. Right? I know I'm player two. He's the Shadow Lord. On the player one, it's Crazy Dogma. Okay. I might have to mark the colors for you guys. Let's work on that. So Crazy Dogma versus Kilo. This is round two of the bracket now, everybody. Just so you know. Believe in victory. Battle one. 
Okay, so Dogma has... He has on like the white versus the red. I guess that makes the most sense. So Dogma has the white and Kilo has like a reddish... Works for me. I want you to tell me what you guys think is going to happen. I have a feeling who you will pick, but you know, that's part of the fun. You can choose Crazy Dogma or you can choose Kilo. There you go, fellas. Do I have the sides right? Let's see. Yes, I do. Dogma's on the player one. He got that first round. Props. And on the player two is the homie Kilo. Both regulars of the tournament. Kilo has some higher placings as of late. He's known to be the just one touch. Wow, sick cross setup. This is the type of matchup where the corner is extremely important. Dogma. Okay, good job, my friend. He's doing just the right things in the mirror. He's defending well. Yeah, he's defending really well. No walk up to Laos. And that was a quick one off. Okay, then. Well done. Well done, Dogma. Rule on. Thank you for your prime as well, my friend. And thank you also, Wes. Good luck to the homies. Oh, oh. <laughs> this is what I came to see. Links. Block Strickness. Tricks? Which way do I block? Oh my god. Sure you. That was good. Alright. The pressure was built in. It was the right time for the upper. Oh. No. No. My friend. No. Don't you. I also play Gron. Don't you understand? Cell taught sword skills. You can't just uppercut. You have to know the moments of how I like to use the sword first. Then you can uppercut. Oh. That was sick. That was sick. Got that. Round two. Nice jump. Good starter. See, now now he's thinking about it. He's thinking about it more at the higher level end of it. They both are, to be honest. It's been a fun one so far. Ha, tricky, tricky. Figure out my timing, if you can. He wanted to cross there. I think he messed it up a little. Good M Fireball from Kilo. Good dodge. Even I was confused a little bit. I was like, did he just dodge there? Oh my god. This is wild. Shimmy, shimmy. Ooh. And just like that, he answered back quick, fast. That's this matchup. This is a quick matchup of reeds and haymakers. Believe in victory. Battle one. Engage. You're talking about the one that Crazy Dogma has? No, I think he has like a bronze sword or something like that. Okay. You can get that on counter hit Gunsmith Wolf. You can also maybe you can get that on Meaty if you if they're crouching as well. There's a couple spots where you can hit those basically. Kilo especially, you'll see it from Dogma as well, but Kilo especially, he has a lot of crouch only combos and counter hit only confirms that he likes to go for. That's a part of why we call him the just one touch. That's his style. He likes the big damage. Good answer from Dogma with the sweep. He made it back to the mid-screen. Actually, he almost had a little bit of corner control, and Kilo fought out of it. That was smart. That was a good time to fight back before it, got, before it could get worse. Good escape. Dogma's kind of running out of running out of HP a little bit, though. Oh. Oof. There it is, there it is, there it is. This is close now. He needed that to hit fully. Too bad. Too bad. Good try with DX Fireball. And Kilo came back. Two sets. That was very fun. Another good set from the players tonight. Good job to Dogma. Definitely showing some of what he could do. Unfortunately, my friend, you'll have to try your luck on the loser side of the bracket. Or you'll face many more amazing Skyfarers down there. To say the least. Woo! No sweeps tonight. Not a single sweep. Crazy, huh? That's how close they've been playing these sets. Just nothing but haymakers back and forth all around.
So that one, the winner was Kilo, two to one. So crazy dogma. We'll go to the loser side. $122 now in the crowdfund. Thank you guys. Let me show you the page that I've been talking about because the whole time I've been saying, hey, check out this Matrina page and I haven't really showed you what it looks like. Uh, but take a peek with us together, fellas. Thanks to all of you. We have a good amount of money in there already. Uh, our top donators include uh, Johnny Boy SP. He says, thank you to Spooky and the players for keeping Granblue alive. Well, thank you, Johnny Boy. Thank you, Alchemist. Thank you, Zuri Rivers. And thank you, Ziggy Pixter. Once again, all you have to do is take the code here and put it up up top here on the page. And you can help out and contribute, fellas. We're going to jump into the next match while you guys do that and help out if you can. This one is Maxima versus Buscar Luz, it sounds like. Yes, it is. All right. I see Maxima on the player one. Buscar is on the player two. More monsters. What can I tell you guys? There's nothing but monsters in this tournament. There ain't no... There ain't... There, there ain't no other way to say it. Thanks, Chris Chaos. Thanks for the sub as well, my friend. All right. We're going to make a bet for you in just a second, fellas. Because I know y'all want to see how this is going to go. Kilo took the last match. You tell me who you think will win this one. Wow. Are you serious? He said, forgive me? That's his time. Forgive me. Who's called Lewis? You got one minute, guys. Matchup-wise, it's a fun matchup. We actually see this more often. These two playing each other. I don't even know who really gets the better of it lately. I just know that they, they clearly both know what to do against each other. Good counter. No headbutts, please. Just don't let it be a grab because then she'll grab the counter. Let's see. Got him. Got him. Time for mix. Good match. Wow. That was that was a guess. Straight up. Straight up a guess. Links. That was also a guess. Wow. Does he know what to guess what? He's been fighting him enough times that he knows the crazy stuff to guess what in the matchup. That's wild. This is a matchup knowledge that. Damn. That's wild. All right then. Believe in victory. Battle one. Engage. Uh, so what we need? There was. There's already virtual fighter tournaments going on on our Turo's channel, the NYC Furby channel. You can check them out. There was one yesterday, in fact. Newcomers tournament. They'll have more. I was going to join, but it was capped. That's how many people wanted to play. They actually capped the tournament. Oh, my God. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Kick him in the face. He just has no eyes during that. You can't even really see the expression. He's just done. Stop dreaming, Loane. Make me a bird. Oh, there you go. Lynx. The headbutt forces crouch. That means that the, the crouch light into a sweep will be a guaranteed link after just to part of how the Diva works. Not a counter hit, so I don't think that was guaranteed. Nice cross mix. Wow, he really snuck that in there. That's a type of mix that's hard to do on someone when they're not waking up. Really well done. And a good low. That's tough. Definitely tough. So much damage for this. Goodbye. Look at that. Crazy. How many, how many Bs did he do? Three? Sometimes you can get four if you're really brave and you want to go for those. But you see how much damage it does. That's the, the best combo that Loane has is the sweep after the HPA into the, the B flares over and over. It just, you can't take those. It hurts. Spaghetti. That was a counter hit. I don't think he was ready to capitalize. It is hard to capitalize on those. But, oh, nice dodge. He was ready. And he was also ready to whip punish the Lariat. Damn, this is intense. Good block. Good check. Wow. Check the Sammy before the slide. That was sick. And he's blocking. Oh, my God. Maxama. Honestly, this... I know that he's 
behind on life, Max Summer, but this is actually kind of a good round for him right now. Yes, this is what he needs to get started. Mixed time. You have no meter, my friend. You have no dream. There is no mom to save you when you have no bars, my guy. And your counter does not work against my grabs. Ooh! He missed it, he missed it, he missed it. This is close, this is close now. Mix. She took it. Oh! Oh, it's not enough, it's not enough! Did he not have, did he not have the move? Now he has to deal with mom. He had to deal with two low end supers and one round. He dealt with the human pyramid, nope. Mom! I love this one. This one's so sick. <laughs> Bob's just there looking over them. Like my idiot sons. My darned idiot sons. <laughs> oh man. Max Sama, I, I, I kind of thought he had, even though he was behind on life that, that round, that was looking like a good round for him. But the two supers, I guess I didn't even consider that. Two supers every one round, that's too much. It's actually crazy. Woo, forgive me, he says, as he wins 2-0. It is a sweep, guys, and that is number one of the evening. Yeah, Rock Monster, he has the devoid, the devoid of color, Lowen. Funny how he went back to it. He was picking a color recently. I think he was picking a green one or something like that, and now he's back to the devoid of color. Yeah, that was Buscar. Creepy, sleepy. Yeah, that was 2-0 for Buscar. He got the first sweep that we've seen on the stream for the evening. Yep, I see it. Is that Kilo? Yes, it's Kilo. So it's Kilo versus somebody. Let's take a look together, everybody. This is why I love showing y'all the bracket, too. Because then I can look at it with you guys, and you can look at it together. If you're wondering why Josh is not here, guys, anybody that's just jumping in, I'll tell you the story in just a second. First, let's look at this. Uh, but basically, for the homie Lord Nerd Josh, uh, if you saw that post that Arxis put up earlier talking about people, uh, hey, guys, don't stream the game early and don't do all that stuff, that's because copies of Strive are just in the wild already. People broke street date like two weeks early or something. It's crazy. Or a week and a half early. I don't even know. So, uh, yeah, apparently some people just have Strive, and they're just playing and grinding with each other. So the match we have coming, by the way, on the stream, everyone, is... I have the whole bracket here in front of me. Where are we at? Kilo. Where are you at, Kilo, on this bracket? Oh, there you go. Kilo versus Kaina. Okay, Kaina, good job. So this is winner's quarters. The winner of this is going to make it into the top eight, guaranteed, on the winner's side. Thank you. Also, you Slyon. Thanks, homie. Thanks always for supporting us so big every week, you Slyon. Your subs, your goodies, all the money that you give to the players and the crowd funds also. Thanks a lot for that. Welcome to the stream today. We're about to check out a winner's quarterfinal match in just a second. So Kilo looks like he's in place and already set up. Kaina, representing DVSN crew, will be here shortly with us. Let's make a bet, everybody. The last one was won by Buscar Luz. This one, I think I, I think I know who you would choose. It's the same deal, fellas. But it's a fair bet. Why not? Everybody's been playing well tonight. So it can go either way. Kaina... We're in for the homie Kaina to arrive in the room. Once Kaina's here, we can just get it started. Uh, not yet. Uh, there's there's uh, not a lot of new people, but there's a couple. And let's see. Most of these, like Aerodynamic, I think he's a new homie. He didn't even get to play. That's unfortunate. Uh, Thomas, that's a new homie, right? M Kiss, I believe that's a newer homie. Maybe this is his first one. Okay, so there was there was a couple new ones in there. Mostly, I see a lot of killers. My God, I see just a lot of old players that just can get top three every time. They're, they're not allowed to stream it. There's embargo. This is what I was just talking about with the tweet, everybody. Because there's embargo. You can't stream it early. Uh, you can't make content early. You can make content early, but you can't produce the content until the day the game is officially supposed to come out. Uh, so, yeah. So, even though they have the game, they can't stream it, even if they want to, for you guys to watch it with them. So, that's just how it is. Oh, uh, that's sad. Creepy sleepy. But schedules can change. You know, even our schedule might change at some point. Little creepy sleepy, depending on what starts happening with the, the offline tournaments compared to the online tournaments. Kaina, where you at? Come on and don't be scared. You can do it. 
I can put myself on here and talk to you guys for a second, I guess. Hey. Anyway, this is the bracket. You see most of the quarterfinals, what it's going to look like. A lot of your favorites are here on the winner's side. Gandido, Buscar, June, Flowerman, Kilo versus Kinda now, and then Zeram versus the winner of Karsha or Okuskemi. Oh my god. Every match was crazy looking at this bracket. There was very few matches that were like, oh, okay, this is like... <laughs> I don't even know what he's doing. Kind of, where are you at? For all I know, he's off in DPFZ land somewhere, riding the clouds. He's going Super Saiyan somewhere. He's just like, oh, is that what he's doing? He's like, oh, Donnie, da. Right when I, you know, right when I did this, he arrived. That shows you something, okay? As soon as I was like, ah, kind of showed up in the lobby. Now it's Super Saiyan Zeta. Actually, I forget the character that kind of plays. I think kind of plays Beals above, something like that. All right, here we go, guys. Next match coming up. Let's get into it. It's Kilo versus Kaina. Grand versus Beelzebub. I don't even know, little creepy sleepy. It's just stacked. Everybody's just good now. Did we do predictions for you all? Let's see. I'm by myself today. So, nope. I'm going to click on it now. So, one minute, guys. Make your predictions. Tell us what you think is going to happen. I know who you're going to pick, but that's okay. Don't be ashamed. Pick who you think is going to win. And don't be afraid to underdog better. If you're that style and you want to go for the underdog or whatever else. The whole point of it is to have fun. Yeah, I know, right? Gunsmith. Wolf. All these guys are just Skyfarers. That's why I even start when I get on Twitter. I start deeming it the Skyfarers have arrived to show you what they can do because all these dudes are just beasts. Nobody's really a scrub in this tournament. Really, Warweenie? You can't do predictions? Is that true? Or are you just kidding around? That's sad. I didn't even know that that was a thing. You just taught me something. Whoa. Is that a punish? No. I, I almost thought I got taught something just now. I was like, whoa, he can sweep punish with sweeper? But no way. That would be way too good, I guess. No, I don't even know about it. That's cool. Whose channel is that going to be on? Cloak a tier. Okay, that sounds interesting. I might try to check it out if I have time. Hopefully, I don't forget. You might have to give me a reminder around when it happens. If I'm online or something. <laughs> wow, okay, kind of. He looks like, jeez. Oh, that was actually the right time. That was actually a perfect time. It kind of. What was he doing? Was he really powering up the whole time? No, he was he was going hammer wake up super the whole time. This is what he was doing. Oops. Just one touch, Kilo. Doing what he likes to do best. Obliterating your life bar. Oh my god, that damage is obnoxious. That was a good escape. Patience, timing. That was a Dragon Ball player for you. I don't do a meaty, I do a late meaty. Cause Dragon Ball, kinda, one up. Believe in victory. <laughs> I love how he lost that one significantly and he still made it a point to do 70% life in one combo because you know, yeah, even when I lose, that's what I do. I'm Kilo. Nice throw. <laughs> that was not a two piece, but he still converted it into something. He was trying to use the plus one of the second one. Ooh, wake up, boom. Didn't work. Was that a read? I wonder about that. Was that like an OS? Oh, that was definitely a read. He, he's trying to. He's trying some type of active defense, and there it worked. 69. Nice. Alright, round two. Good sweep. That was very smart. All right, kind of. Oh, interesting. The way that kind of has been using the the tendon is really good so far. I forget Beelzebub's name for that move. Good dive. Trade. 
He kind of tried to slow it down, which is, oh no. It was a smart idea, but the problem is that you're never winning a damage race against Kilo, even if you try to slow it down. Good overhead. He was not ready. All right. Tie game, just like that. They both show what they can do. Kind of had some really good zone, zone and confirms, especially in the first game. Second game. That was a kilo. Oh my god, this is all kilo. See, he's changing his timings. Is that what it is? He's just good at doing this. He knows when Kaino wants to move. So he'll even do, because he knows when Kaino wants to move, he'll even willingly do an unsafe boot or unsafe uppercut. It's just about, no, this is the spot. See, like the uppercut there. This is the spot where he's going to try to escape. He knows now. Crazy. He's scary. Wow. No block strings allowed. Sorry, buddy. Put those away. Safe strings only. He's dangerous. Really dangerous. We'll see if Kaino can get adjusted. Super jump. Oh, he's staying on him. He's staying on him. Kaino. Can you get out? You gotta try, my guy. EX dive. Super jump. Uppercut. Oh, my God. He can't play the game. <laughs> the game. Every option has been shut down to him with crazy unsafe cancels like those by Kilo. <laughs> That's just a timing thing. That's really what it is. He's a master of that, huh? Tough to beat. Shadow Lord Kilo. <laughs> I was going to click on a thing. I don't even know which one to click on. I'm not going to lie to you. All right. Who, who, got, who got paid on the skulls? I guess I'll click on this one. Who got paid? Uh, Kilo was the winner. 2-1. Two, two, Good job, Kilo. He looks like he's doing PayPal bets or something. That's what it looks like to me. He's just busting out like someone's Medicaid card or something. Who knows what that was that he had in his hand just now. <laughs> Thank you, Captain Nemo. Thanks for the sub, my friend. You made it number 19 of the evening so far tonight. I do appreciate you. Our sub goal tonight is 2050. Thank you this week, everyone, for getting us over 2,000. Of course, every sub you give us also supports the players tonight. Uh, for every one sub you give, we will add $1 to the crowdfund to support the homie tonight, whether it's a top three or a top five payout or whatever else it is. We actually have a thing. Uh, subs, I think that's that's not going to be as accurate as what shows up in the thing. It's around 20, 20, around there, 2020, haha, <laughs> not the year though. Meantime, guys, more quarterfinals coming out. This is another good one that you will love. It's Flower Man and Flower Man's opponent. I know that Flower Man is representing NCG. It's up against June. All right, June. We got a lot of footsies characters today, huh? How about that? Lots and lots of footsies characters. June coming up. I don't know if I can say this match is, is fair or unfair uh, for one character or the other. It might just be a fair match, to be honest. Catalina definitely has to make more reads than... Catalina has to make more good reads, but you need less reads for it to work out, right? The Catalina damage is always going to be great in this type of match. Might be a fair match, to be honest, these days. 5-5, five, five, if you know all the tech and what you're doing. That was a good interrupt. Something about that string was not airtight, and June answered well. And June with an early corner, chilling, relaxing, blocking it out. Took away the EX2, that's clutch. No Spider-Man, not today. Relax. Oh my god, and that's a confirm. And that should be Icicle Nail, right? Yes. Goodbye. Ice grenade. How could you think that she's saying anything but Ice Grenade there? She's even putting a grenade of ice into your chest as the sweeper happens. It clearly is Ice Grenade. 1-0 for June right now. That was how you want things to go for a Catalina. Ice cream, mate. <laughs> All right. So far, this is more like a Flower Man round, but he still needs to really get the party started. Something like a nice GG or a good sweep that can set up a GG for him. Something that can really let him get some big damage. Get some good mix. 
Wow, Jean really patient. Even after taking, usually when you take away that special, the, the EX whip from her, usually people rush in right after that. But no, he's even when he takes away the EX, he's chilling. Really impressive. Good job, Jean. This is why he's he's fighting to be in top eight tonight. You can tell. Good patience. Took the trade. I guess that was okay. Better than eating a setup. He did take a lot of damage. Oh my god, the pit, he did not press up. Ooh, the clash! This is looking like Jun's kind of around. He just needs one more nice, one more nice in, if he can find it. But the same for Flower Man. Flower Man can still bring this back. A knockdown into a GG setup. Oh, there it is, there it is. Oh my god. Good job, Flower Man, that was sick. I think that a lesser player would have been cooked during that round. Thank you, Ghost Speaker. Combo City. Oh yeah, that hurts. That definitely hurts. Probably around 40% down for June. Good sure you. See, this, that, that was a good read. You gotta be careful though, because this is where you don't want to be. Because now he's going for more of the hard read style of play to try to bring the life lead back. And that, that is exploitable. You see, he can wait, or he can try to go for the stand light to shut him down. Good one. Good bet, bro. Deal with my skybound darts. No, it's not a combo. And Drink is still can play. Whip. Mix time. Oh. Your toes. Alright, good job. Flower Man brought it back in game number one. June almost had it as a two on rounds. Yeah, GG to the rescue, especially in round number two. GG definitely came into the rescue that round and got, got Flower Man a pretty clutch combo. Yeah, this is where the match gets hard, Jane. It's, it, it's about who's ahead, right? This type of matchup. Even more than in other matches. In other matches, you can be behind. And cool, I'll just come back with my footsies in the super. No, in this matchup, when you're behind, woo, you stay behind. Look at this. Even this amount of deficit means that now Jun has to be the active player. And the more that he tries to be active, the more that he's in danger of getting tagged by the random pokes. Oh, good answer though. Got him with the heavy. Early break. They're just going for hard reads now. I can tell I can tell they're both a little Yes, they're both going for hard reads. I love this kind of match. <laughs> The nerves start to set in. You start forgetting how to do your own stuff. You're just like, you know what? They're going for hard reads. I'm going to hard read too. Oh, no, wait. Now I'm dead. What am I doing? <laughs> nice dive. Nice match. Oh, my God. Hard reads only. Blocking is forgotten. Unique skill. This doesn't even work. I'm still doing it. This is how little they care at this point. You might have been able to punish that one. The second hit with... Oh, it's definitely time to press buttons. I agree. The time to press is now. Wow. Ty said, huh? All right, let's make you guys a bet who will win game three, fellas. That was fun so far. Flower Man, these are your options. Okay, Flower Man and you, who will take game three. You got 30 seconds. It's the flashback. You trust in the bu in the bunny, the power of the bunny waifu? Maybe. Oh, June! You are really good with that 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 trash Catalina overhead. He's so good with that. <laughs> oh, oh my God! He hasn't reached it. Don't touch the armor. I just had a shellac last night. It was mad work. Out of there. Wow, his timing. <laughs> I, I think I think he's had enough. I think he's had enough of the overheads that, that have been taken most of his life. Two is sufficient. His stab timing is really great. He's shutting him down. He's making him have to earn the knockdowns first for his GG mix. Really far away out for this SPA. But he's nice. He turned it into pressure anyway. Good job. Snuck in a nice throw. 
June is close to getting his Skybomb guard now. In fact, he does have it. He has SSP. No bounce. It's a little far. But we have a nice spacing for the GG. This is looking like a good round for Flower Man. He can just chill and react. There you go. Yes. I think if anything, Flower Man earlier in this set, he was giving up the EX Whip a little quick. He should maybe chill on this, sit on it a little more like he just did there. No, see, he did the same thing. He spent the EX Whip pretty quickly early on. He's hoping for the knockdown, but he need to stop those stabs or something. Because, like, then you have no EX. Oh, my God. Look at the damage. No SBA. That was crazy. He mashed. He mashed anyway. You lost 60% and you mashed. Side switch. Now we got to come back from behind. We have no choice. He does have the, the Skype on him. Ooh! <laughs> no, I'm not teching anymore. I'm not teching throws anymore. You're going to have to throw me and kill me. That's the only way now. <laughs> Oh my god, Jude's stops in this set were crazy. I don't understand. Every time that he did a stop, it was the right move to do somehow. Crazy. That that normally is not that free, just to throw it out there, okay? There definitely are times where he could counteract that by just having a button out there or just being ready to block or, or being ready to space it or something like that. But Jude would just go with those tonight. He had a lot of really good reads on it. He's going to be the one to advance to so the top eight winner side. Good job, Jude. It's not over, not even close to over for the homie Flower Man. That was June 2-1 to one over Flower Man. He was definitely doing a lot of stinger. That's what it felt like during that. I agree with you. All right, everybody. Next one's coming up. We're going to do even more quarterfinals. They've been going quick and furious, which is what we like. Now we got Zeron. I believe he's representing the Laser Moon squad on the player one. And Zeron's opponent, I'm sure, will be someone else really strong based on how crazy this bracket has been tonight. Oh, it's Neo Card. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is a good one. This is what I came to see. <laughs> Give me the popcorn right now. You guys got to bet this from the start, everybody. Just pick the two out of three, all right? We're going to keep it real simple. Who will win? Your choices are Zeron on the player one. And on the player two, you got Neo Karsh. We just saw a great Catalina win from June. It would it would be it would be cute to see two Catalinas in, in top eight, I guess, but you know, I want to see a good match. Neither of these Yo, players spooky, are straight in the top me? eight. Yeah, what's up, Josh? How you doing tonight, bro? Welcome good to, to see you. Sorry to interrupt. No, you good, bro. Late. We were just talking about <laughs> nah, it's all good. We were we were talking about secret drive missions and how Arxis put out the call out there and told people to not stream the game early and everything else. So we've been talking about all this <laughs> all the, the whole while. Yeah, it's been victory. some uh, Wild West out there. Yeah, people have it early and all that stuff. People are breaking street day and everything, which is cool, I guess, for the homies that are trying to train early and whatnot. True. Anyway, uh, I can get a screen feed. Yeah, just give me a second, bro, because I wasn't even sure if you were no going to be No problem, no problem. No, it's cool. Let's see if that works. Hey, there we go. There, I'm Neo Karsh. Cool, did I put some bets up for you guys, fellas? Let's see. Let me know if everything still looks and sounds okay or if I need to turn Josh up or down. Let's try to get into it. See what's up. Oh, the cross up. I can't believe that down heavy counter hit. Zerum earlier. Wow. Oh, try to beat it out. Wow, low. We just watched the match at the mm. start of the stream, Josh, that you commentated uh, with St. Cola. Between Diaphone and Dido. Yeah. That match was sick. That, that match was awesome. It literally went to the last, last moment. Last round, last everyone. Did, did you watch all of it? or? Yeah, Ooh. we watched the whole thing. Okay, okay. So, yeah, Gandito. What a beast. Woo. Check. Nice combo confirmed. Here come the meaties, right out of range. Footsie's on Footsie's matchup. It's the whole matchup. Oh my god. Buttons. That was a good dodge. That was a good counter action. The counter hit even. D 
defense. Overhead, the block. Sure you, he doesn't care. It was not a counter. Hit. Good one, good mash. He's a nut. Oh, clutch, right? All right, Taking so I'm one turn. He was keeping turns. That's what he was doing this game. He kept like all his turns. He didn't care. Even victory. Battle one. All right. Engage. Game two. Good timing with the flip. Oh! He likes that trick a lot. The the meaty counter. Mm -hmm. But it's rare that I get to see it work that perfectly. That was crazy. Yeah, always trying to get that attempt there, but that was uh, godlike one. Karsh actually brought it back. Nice, he has the beat. And he has the combo. This is an SPA. He took it. I guess the dodge there was a, a nice frame kill for him on the non-animation super. 69. Clash. Oh, nice. Wow. He got that? That was sick. The double medium is really hard to do now. Usually you end up a little out of range. You end up getting the far M. He got a double medium. Big combo for... Oh, he didn't even take... He went for a reset. Zeron. Yeah, Josh just joined up with us after two... Oh, snap. Down. Down. Battle three. Engage. This is this is how you have to play the matchup. Every little minus moment that the other person has, their little minus two or minus three, you have to take that moment and go for either the big swing or the run up throw or something like that. And that's why you'll often see that when they're small minus, they'll also wrist the uppercut so that you don't try to take your turn. So far, Zerum's turn is looking pretty strong right now. Oh yeah, that was that was Darius. Is that done? Oh, is that it over? Throw. Wow, it is, it is indeed over. Crazy. <clears throat> All right, so oh, Zeram yeah. is going to take the set 2-0, to zero, everybody, and that means that he's going to put himself also in the winner's semifinals. Guaranteed top eight on the winner's side. is nowhere near over for Neil Karsh. He has a strong chance to make out on top eight loser's side. Now, I'm assuming that we're going to see more of him very soon, knowing how it usually goes, but we shall see. In the meantime, it's time to get paid. Wow, the bets were 50-50. Crazy. It was a 50-50 bet. Zerm was the one to take it. Shoot, Josh. I hope that you guys are having a good time over there on the West doing what y'all doing and all that good stuff, Holmes. <laughs> it's going to be a good <laughs> to be good honest, next week. Let's we'll see what happens. D definitely. I, I just, you know, d with COVID and all that, it, I don't think... I think a lot of people are just stuck at home, you know, so maybe just a, a little early time for some people, but nothing too. Cr it's not like a Marvel four. Everyone's going ham right now, so I wouldn't be too. I just keep looking at your mom pops. Maybe we'll get lucky soon. <laughs> no doubt. Oh, I'm not or get that three day, that part of it. three day early. That, I'm just happy that the game's coming out. That's where I'm at, bro. No, I, yeah, it's all starting to come together. I'm just saying like, you know, uh, just keep be on the lookout and know that that three day early pre order is coming up. So you know, it, that's literally in like. Oh, two if you pre ordered, you get it three days early. I yeah, you get it. I didn't even eighth. know that. Okay, all right. So I get it yep. three days early. I didn't realize. I thought that's that didn't. Okay, cool. So I can play in like three days. Cool. I thought I had to wait. Yeah, no. Life. All right, whatever. Nope, cool. you're in there. All Ooh, right, yeah. so uh, Gandito's already here. Gandito has to face off against everyone at home. I'll tell you his opponent. Uh, Buscar, okay, this should be another fun match. We have a lot of really great ones tonight. Buscar lose versus Gandito. Both these players are extremely capable players, all right? We know that Gandito just won that dope ex ex exhibition match, but anything can happen. He's representing today the Viejos squad. He's an OG, is what he's trying to say. All right, let's get into it in just a moment, everybody. 
It's going to be Buscar lose versus Gandito. Looks like Buscar is on the player one. Gandito is on the player two. Let's make some bets for y'all as well. Bet it. B -b Bet it. I'm actually mad hyped to play Virtual Fighter after we're done with the tournament today. I didn't get to play a lot in the past couple of days because oh. a lot of stuff has been going on. I want to stream a bit. You want to run some sets? Uh, yeah, if you're going to be streaming, I'll play some sets with you on your stream like we did last time. That was fun. The only reason I didn't play it more is because by the time we played, it was like 4 in the morning over here on the East Coast already or something. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, yeah, I'm no, down to course. play some and do whatever. I was going to play some ranked or something like that and just keep learning. I've Who's been fortunate lose? to get some good connections, so it's been fun. And Gandito, it has, honestly, it just works for me. It never really messes up or anything. It's very rare that I have a bad match. I get some bad matches, but I've had some good ones, and I've oddly enough been able to play like like Australian stuff decently. So wow, not that's like better, better than me. Amazing, I just play a but... bunch of guys in NA, basically. Yeah. It looks like this what I play against for the most part. All right, guys, we're getting it into better than Xer. Yeah, let's go. Yo, chew that. You're right, bro. I agree with that. It does feel a little like bit Xer to Arizona. Like, also, the under nice neck code, like those neck codes, those regular delay neck codes, it feels a little better than those. But maybe it's because it's a 3D game. Who yeah. knows? Damn, Gantino. Is this a perfect? Perfect? Perfect. Oh, nice. Yeah, I heard the game has a 10 frame buffer too. That might Something help. like that. Ooh. Yeah. And if you saw it in the set earlier for yeah, Combo Breaker. He, he, he hits Gantino those. has that fierce. Yeah. Always sets that gameplay and always keeps you guessing. Good counter. Smart. He didn't want to deal with the sweep, so he backed out. So far, Gandito's doing everything right that Zeta should do in this matchup. And whenever he thinks that bros are coming or toys, uh, then he already has the lasers out there to prevent that from happening. That's very important. You don't want to let him set up Ooh. shop. Mom. He's got a cool mom. He has so the, the, oh. the chip out. Yeah. 1-0. Oh. Was it going to be a fake out? Was it not? No, just went in. No, I think just... Gandito's really good at like that tech trap, counter hit, pressure kind of play style. He'll get in your face and do that pit bull offense, and then you're forced to react, and he's really good at just stopping and reacting to you whiffing or keeping up the pressure. Yeah, so NYC, the trick there is that you can't usually... You cannot chip with a single EX move. So you couldn't usually use the Spear of Arvis, right? And go one, two, three. But what Gandito will do is intentionally, he'll leave a tiny gap. And because there's a small gap there, the second part of the EX will count as a second chip that can actually kill the opponent. It's the same trick that the Lancelot players will do with the EX. Uh, I forget the name of the move, the EX records. It's the same type of trick. Yeah. They try to force you to reversal, and they have a safe way out as well. Mm -hmm. You have to kind of call it out. Southern Cross, that's the name of the move. Anyway, you can do the same thing with yeah. the Lance, the EX Southern Cross. Oh, I love that anime. <laughs> Ooh, nice twirl. Hi, Pogo. Uh, King Jaffe, I think generally he was like middle of the road now, character, low wing. Probably like right smack in the middle. That's a good place oh. to be in this game, to be honest. Wow. Uh. Gandito's just a god. That's what it comes down to. This guy's nuts in so many different matchups, and he only plays Zeta, pretty much, so... He has a mastery of Zeta that's that's hard to get experience against unless you fight him. Oh my god, your uppercuts do not work on me, my friend. Special combos. Oh, only I can around do these. the world. Oh my god, what was that combo? That was new to me, I think. Right? <laughs> <laughs> she was cutting shapes and everything. Most of the roster is still good, guys. Generally, the characters that people struggle with in tournament are. Uh, Saurus and Narmaya. Those were, I, th I think those are the two biggest struggles. Most of the rest of the cast has had good success at NLBC, I think. We've, we've seen some Saurus success. I would say Narmaya is probably the most struggle. Yeah. But Terra is also kind of hard, huh? We haven't had a lot of a Terra in a while. Yeah. No. Not saying it's not hard for Saurus. I'm just saying, you know, when Saurus is in and that, that game plan's going and there's a life lead, you Jeez. know, you can take some more gambits.
Molink. 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 Now, Maya, we. <laughs> it just <laughs> seems like everything goes Jeez. downhill unless you're from Europe right now. I guess. Ooh. I don't even know what to say. It is a sweep for Gandito. Was that the last quarterfinal? Let me check the bracket. Okay, that was the last uh -uh. quarterfinal. Cool. So I don't really have anything special to talk about in between the quarterfinals and the top eight, guys. I just want to say thank you very much for supporting it the way that you guys have supported so far. That was sweep number three of the evening. I'm sorry. I didn't ma ma mark that previous one. So let's get that in there. And uh, real quick, guys, before we get into the top eight, if you don't mind, uh, please support the crowdfund, guys. Currently, we have $131 in there. But we could use all your support, everybody. Whatever you can do, uh, whether you give us a sub, whether you use the code that you see in the chat right now, save NOBC 239 Anything that you can do helps out and supports the homies. Thank you for getting it to 131 and change so far before the top eight. That's a nice prize pool to start it off. Of course, you can also use all the goodies in the sidebar to all the quests. Thank you, Dutera. I'm sorry if I butchered your name, but thank you for the sub, my friend. You can use all the goodies here in the sidebar. You can even check out some of the players here as well on these quests too. Also, one last thing, we do have the Matching a Special promo going on right now, which means that every sub you give us, whether it's a regular sub, a gift sub, or your free Prime sub, as I said, it also supports the prize pool tonight. This is the promo that I'm talking about. Thanks, everybody, for doing it and supporting it, and uh, giving us all those subs and gift subs that you've given so far today. What up, Gem? What up, Amplitude? What up, Susano Blade? Ten of Clubs? Dutera, again, thanks for the sub. Cosmic, Cosmico, Flack Owl. Everybody else, shout out to all you guys. Shout out to Josh as well. Thanks for joining us, Josh. And uh, that's it for the hey. pools portion, guys. Anybody that's going to see this on YouTube, uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, look out for the Top 8 file, which you'll find here on YouTube soon as well. And all you Twitch monsters, stick around because Top 8 is about to start.